Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video of Tokyo Ghoul Reinvoke. And in today's episode, uh, the occupation war has begun again, and the the grind never stops. And so what we're here to do today, unfortunately I was shoehorned into becoming a ghoul this time. Because every time it seems like if you log in after the first couple hours, you're forced to go onto the ghoul side because there's so many fucking people that were forced on, or that just immediately joined the CCG because the ghoul people are cooler to fight. Because I'd prefer to fight half Kakuja Kaneki in like his defeated stance and Rize over fighting Akira Mado and Angry Amon. It just, it, I don't see that being as interesting. But of course, because I've been shoehorned onto that, we're going to be fighting mostly... Amon and Akira this time. Shame. Shame. But what I'm, I'm gonna do, they did a couple of quality of life updates uh, for the game this update in particular. They actually add tutorials for the dispatch, they add tutorials for all the buttons on the bottom of the screen, which is super helpful for anyone who's joining. Granted, the tutorials are in Japanese, so like, certain players may not know. Also, I just wanted to point out, I do have my webcam actually working with a, without a green screen this time. I thought, I thought it would be nice. I thought it would be cool to have like a, a background when I actually have like this little box to actually abuse. So I think it's fun. I think it's a good time and I don't have to like green screen things out. I think it's super good. Plus you can actually see my eyes because like my eyes don't get green screened out. Which is really funny by the way. My eyes are so green they get taken out of the green screen. It's really cool. But what we are going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish off the dispatches. You will see here there's a slight new pop-up for the dispatch. Nothing too crazy, but it's basically just like, hey, you you completed it. Congratulations. Granted, a pop-up of red text seems really bad. It seems like you're like breaking the game. It's like, oh, the entire 11th ward died. My bad, dude. But it works out. What we are gonna do here is we're going to go to this tab and just kind of click through all of my characters that are here and hope for the best. You can see that I, um, I have the dupe of the SSR Ayato Dispatch. You can't use both of them in the same quest, so I'm just kind of SOL for that. I also got this boy from just logging in. Basically, it's just Kaneki in a swimsuit, but like, you know, he's, he looks so not toned at all. And the idea that being tortured just kind of like pumped him up a little bit when it, when it happened is kind of funny to me. Because he is an actual twig here. Like th there is no like, there is no meat on those bones at all. So, you go Kaneki. You definitely need to uh, not skip every part of your body day. Granted, I guess he didn't really need to work out at all before he became a ghoul, right? There's nothing like he really needed to do. It's not like he was running away from stuff, or like, he wasn't in, in the wrestling club or anything like that. He was just some university student who liked books. So it's not like he, it's not like he was, he had some reason to be like, I need to work out right now. I need to get in shape. Also, he was like, arguably he was in good shape, depending on what you call good shape. Does skinny and like... Like, if you're on the skinnier side of things, and you have, like, I don't know, if you're Kaneki, does that count as healthy? I mean, I guess he must have had a healthy diet beforehand, except for the burgers. Maybe he didn't have a good diet. Who knows? We're, we're, we're debating the diet of a fictional character. I'm going to jump past finishing off all of these, because I don't really have a reason to show off all of them. See you in a second. And this is the final completion for the end of the the finishing off dispatching times. I think it's a good time. And by the way, like, so what I'm assuming right now in terms of the timeline of this game is so currently we're in a period of occupation war early stages. We don't have any characters that have come out so far. And the ones that are boosted are strictly from the old FES units that came out before. However, what I'm assuming is going to happen is we currently have a confirmed two Arata Fest units coming out. So that's Shinohara and Kuroiwa. And we have a confirmed Owl coming out alongside them. 
if that's the case, what I'm assuming is going to happen is we're going to get that as a banner in the early stages of the month, alongside the Occupation War in the beginning. Then towards the end of the month, towards the end of the Occupation War, we're going to get a Takizawa release of a FES unit. And then into next month, we're probably going to have one other banner. I'm not sure what we'd have um, going into that, but I have a feeling by the end of September, we're going to end up having probably the Black Reaper event or the beginning of October, because that's when the anime comes back and we kind of do have those in the game. Likely we're going to have the Hyrule Ihei unit release sometime within the September or so. So we kind of have like a course of events that that's probably going to happen. We've been releasing things in order of like the series. So for example, um, we had Orochi. No, we had the first, the entire squad of the Kinks. So every one of them had their own release. Then we went into the arc, which is the first episode, basically, with Orochi, then Hayase. Then after that, the auction starts. The pre-auction has, for example, just a bunch of, like, just preparatory things. This Roma appears inside that arc um, during the arc or during the part where they become girls and they find Nutcracker. Then the auction starts. We get uh, Nutcracker from the auction. We get Takizawa, we get whatever. So we're getting into that. And I think that the arc is starting, so we're going to start getting more content into the game during this period of time. And this whole month is probably going to be mostly getting into that auction arc from the beginning. Uh, what, what we will do here, so that's a green ghoul. Don't really need that. That's a blue CCG. I need that quite a bit. And that is books. Uh, let's go ahead and do some blue CCG stuff. Do I have a full CCG team already ready? Oh, yeah, but it's awful. <laughs> it is god-awful. Um, I have no better members for this. Okay, so I had to cut that battle out because there was, like, some serious issues with it. Like, there was a bunch of visual glitches and stuff. I should have fixed it now by going into the options of my legitimate phone. So hopefully that'll be all right. And let's get into another one. I did notice he just added a re uh, a retry button to that menu. That is fantastic. The quality of life stuff they're doing is really amazing around the game. A retry button was required. Um, the, the ability to just see the drops that you get on quests is now like purple and, or green instead of being like just basic black. Very small stuff, but things that stack up into mattering quite a bit. All right, so with this horrible team, with this team of absolute shitlords, Let's go ahead and try and beat the second tier of this. I could probably upgrade... I'll upgrade Mutsuki after this. I have a feeling we won't be able to get uh, the A rank done with this team. I just don't have confidence in them, to be honest. I'm just going to try and get as many attacks as off as possible with... You didn't even break that guy? Really? Nice. Yeah, good, 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 good job on that. Man, that sure is good. God damn it. Well, I mean, we got the first wave done with only one swap, but that's... If the B tier gives us this much dif difficulty, I have a feeling we won't be lasting all that long. Okay, we'll get some normal attacks off. And... Oh. If I broke him, I may as well keep on attacking, right? Here, I'll swap out here to Mutsuki. You know what, Chinohara? Get a break off. Go for it. Oh, you didn't? You managed to not get the kill? Wow. That's rough. Um, I'm going to attack a little bit. Can we get a break? Yes, we did. Okay. We're going into the boss now with one ability and no Johns. So let's see how this goes. I think I'm actually going to try to build up a break on these other people around him first. Yeah, let's get some attacks off, which is normal ones. I'm going to swap to the left guy. Attack bonus. We build a combo all the way up before we start attacking the main guy. This should be okay. Is this one an attack? It is. It does like nothing, but it is an attack. Okay, so Mutsuki managed to kill the guy on the left. We're going to buff, then we're going to try to get a break off with Juzo if possible. We'll see here. So normal attacks there. 
No. The damage that Juzo does in terms of durability isn't nearly high enough to be able to take down 3 durability, even from swapping at this point. Can we get no breaks? Oh wow, yeah, no, that's fine. That's some normal attacks off here. This is okay. Normal attacks. Swap to Mutsuki. Normal attacks. And break. Honestly, this feels weird. Because I'm so used to just like crushing these quests super fast. So actually putting thought into it is really cool. I'm happy. There we go. Can we... Okay, it did get the kill. I would have been... You know how sad it would have been to have him have like that magic pixel and then just have to go to his turn anyway? Either way, we're good to go. GG to that ho G. And that should be all the upgrade materials from that quest? Okay, cool. So that is a free Haka, and I should be able to upgrade Mutsuki now. If all went well in that realm of spectrums. Alright, so if we go to look at Mutsuki. Hello, my dude. Do you wanna? Nope. You totally need at least one more of those things. However, there is now a button that shows you that you can go to the dispatch. And, huh! Quality of life. I'm telling you, that's super helpful. Granted, it's not that helpful that you can't just click it and be like, oh, I want to go to this quest and just go to it. But, one step at a time. One step at a time. I am going to go ahead and use this team though yeah that sounds good let's go ahead and try and actually beat this super hard I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone on the charger as well because it appears that it's slowly dying but we're getting there alrighty so ghoul Hi Hayase during this current season of occupation war has doubled the attack of a normal Hayase I like a ghoul he also has four bonus AP, meaning levels probably won't be that difficult for him, especially ones where he already has an attack boost because of his skill that gives him a 1.5 times damage on every blue or red or green character. This is not going to last long, especially because, like, theoretically, if I were to pop highest a special would his attack not be boosted by 1.75 times i mean if that happened wouldn't that be kind of cool wow and then i normally attack a bunch and break the entire wave because hell yeah what's my phone went off what did i oh i got an email emails are fun here we're gonna go ahead and try and break around hoji first because that sounds good I'm going to swap my target to the guy on the left, because I primarily want to be able to get something particular off here. So I'm going to pop the buff of Toka. I'm going to pop the special of Heisei. And if he lives, he didn't. If he did live, I was going to be able to use half Kuchikaneki's special as well. But that's alright. I just want to get the attack buff off from Toka because I wanted to see if I could use Kaneki afterwards, but it should be alright. Either way, we're not going to get the middle bonus here on this quest because we didn't use only CCG members. Because that's what this quest is. The middle slot is just like, use only CCG members and you get this free 5 or 10 of the gold materials. But we got enough. We needed the first potions anyway the most, I believe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go here. Hello, Mutsuki. Wow, I got a bunch off of that. Do the drop rates get improved by quite a bit? I want to do another attempt. Because that was a, a lot of items that I got off of that. That was like 10 or so of these upgrade materials. That is really ridiculous. Also, I just noticed that the Ghoul Hyacinth's attack is currently 1,960. That is Fucking ridiculous. That is almost double what Arima's is, but that's because he's boosted, but still. That makes him probably the highest attack unit that's ever been in the game so far from what I've seen. Granted, I haven't seen, like, what could be before renewal, but, you know. 
Either way, Hayase is not giving a shit regardless. Alrighty. On to wave two. I'm going to prepare... Here. I'm going to use this to boost the attack of both Toka and uh, Hakuja Kaneki. However, I have learned that the buff system is strictly based on the order you use them in. So, for example, if I use Toka, my characters get a 1.25 times bonus to their attack, defense, and their recovery. I think they get a bonus, whatever it is. But Ghoul Hayase, he has a boost of 1.75 times. So you have to use that after you use Toka's, otherwise you'll have the attack bonus of only 1.25. So basically you have to kind of organize which ones you're using first. However, if I pop half Kuja Kaneki's attack, it's not going to matter. Toka's 1.25 times bonus, it does pretty well on levels like this. Plus, Hayase doesn't really care, because now he's doing fucking 10,000 per hit. And he doesn't care about anything. What I did find weird, however, is before the season even started, Hayase was still boosted. Uh, in the between season, Hayase still had 12 AP despite him usually having 8. So the fact that it, it has a pre-season bonus for the most part is really strange to me because that's kind of... In that case, if you pull during the actual season, You'll be boosted in the off-season as well as the new one coming up, so it's kind of worth it to try and get something off of each banner uh, during that time. But at the same time, you want to save up for the big cool units, so I don't know. Uh, Mutsuki, how many did I get off of that? Yeah, I got like four or five off of that. That's really good drop rates compared to what we used to have. Granted, that's not as good as the first time I ran through it, but it's still pretty solid. Having 8 AP for Mutsuki as well is really helpful. That's two more upgrades and another durability. I, if I upgrade him one more time, I can get the defense increase, but other than that, I kind of want to prioritize... Actually, if I look at Ghoul Hayase, and I look at his upgrade system, I need a lot of his materials, but I could probably... If I had enough exchange tickets, I could probably get... Uh, what if I go for... I am tempted to just go for it. Just get five of those. Sure. We're gonna do that for now. I, I do need that, and if I do end up grinding up the materials for high say along the way, that sounds good. I do need to get him to rank seven to get him the, uh, the actual AP increase, which would put him up to 14 AP per turn, by the way. But if I get to level 8, that's when he gets the green damage bonus as well. Um, See, so yeah, I kind of have my course for now. Uh, my main goal is going to be... Actually, if I buy 5 more of the gold upgrade materials, I could probably just be able to get that upgrade immediately as well. There's no way to grind it, though. So I'd have to, like, buy the exchange tickets again. I don't know. Here, let's, let's see what the other... I think the other dispatch quest was the book one. I don't really need to play it, but I want to get the Haka off of it regardless. So let's go ahead and play it, just the hardest version, but on, like, j just, just knock it out of the way real quick. We'll get the A rank done and just kind of be done with today's episode. For the most part, the new season seems to be not much for now. We will be getting updates throughout the season that'll add, like, the Kuroiwa Shinohara Aratas and the ghoul or the the owl kuzen is coming i believe um august 10th so that's two days from now so we'll get there i'm sure here i'm gonna go ahead and try and get a break off here try and build up my attack boost before i get to the final boss wave god half kujikana he, he just yells so loudly at all times it's great well, quote-unquote great, but you know. Here, if I can... I'm gonna nuke this wave. That sounds good. That should be able to actually knock out of... Knock out of the park for the most part. 
this entire section. Plus, next section I could probably get away with uh, just using high assays thing. But I apparently didn't get all the kills. Damn. Hello, Amon. How you doing on this fine day we call Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday. It's it's Wednesday, my... I don't know. My hump days. You know, fun fact. I actually own a shirt that has a camel on it that says hump day. And that is a fact about me that you now know. I actually went to a thrift shop and ended up finding it. And I was just like, you know what? I, all of my clothes are filled with irony regardless. I have a fucking bad Big Bang Theory shirt I wear as a joke. I have a Pussy Galore shirt that I wear on various occasions. I'm gonna get it. So I got the, the, the camel shirt and I think it is one of the best shirts I own. I, I usually never wear it on the right days and only wear it when it's like laundry day, but I find it to be like just genuinely good time. I think I've worn it in some videos before. I wonder if people like recognize my clothing. Cause like, for the most part, I like to wear very varied clothes and just kind of change. Well, I guess that's everyone, isn't it? Everyone wears different clothes. That's not something special, but I, what I mean is like, I feel as if if I wear the same set of clothes, like two or three days in a row, like, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's bad luck or something. So I just kind of focus very hard on trying to be differently dressed every day and trying to do like laundry actively. It's called healthy lifestyle kids or something. I don't know if that's, does that count as healthy? Is, is that like a quantification of health to be able to realize that you need to wear clean clothes? I don't think that's a huge thing, but that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and claim this for now. And we're probably be done with today epi the episode for today. Uh, got some stuff done. New season is definitely like, kicking off real good so far. I'm tempted to do another video on covering the bosses when the uh, boss Ammon comes around, because actually his art is horrifying. So if I could cover that, that'd be cool. But I'll see you guys a little bit later if that does come around. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you think, how you like the background here. I feel as if with the lighting, it looks very dreary. I don't know if that's just me. It looks very like monotone and not really colorful. So I'm not sure how I can improve that, but I'll try and think of it. But I think it's a nice time. Thank you for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.